Dear students, the second step in the analysis of an organic compound is the detection of elements. Many organic compounds contain foreign elements like oxygen, nitrogen, halogen, sulfur, etc. other than carbon and hydrogen. Lassane's test or sodium fusion test is used for the qualitative determination of the presence of nitrogen, halogens and sulfur in an organic compound. Since these elements are covalently bonded in the compound, their detection in Lassane's test is possible if they are in the ionic form. When sodium metal is fused with the organic compound, Sodium converts all the elements into ionic form. The formed ionic salts are extracted from the fused mass by boiling it with distilled water. This is called sodium fusion extract. Let us recall the nature of metallic sodium first. It is a highly reactive metal and reacts vigorously with the oxygen, carbon dioxide and moisture present in the air such that it may even cause a fire. To prevent this explosive reaction, sodium is kept immersed in kerosene because sodium does not react with kerosene. Remember, when using metallic sodium in the lab for conducting experiments, the glassware should be clean and dry. If it is wet, an explosive reaction can take place which may result in fire. Now let us prepare the sodium fusion extract. Usually this is done by using a fusion tube which is very small compared to a test tube. Take a small piece of sodium, free it from kerosene, put it in an ignition tube, melt it by gentle heating. Add a small quantity of the substance to the tube and heat it gently to complete the reaction and then strongly. When the ignition tube becomes red hot, plunge it into about 10 ml of distilled water taken in a china dish. The tube breaks, ground the broken ignition tube well. Boil the mixture to one third of its volume and filter it. Sodium fusion extract is now ready. The sodium fusion extract can also be prepared in a more easier way using a test tube. For this, you may take a clean and dry test tube. Take a piece of sodium, free it from kerosene and put it in the dry test tube taken. Heat it gently. Sodium melts and forms a silver globule. Add little of the organic compound into it. Heat gently first and then strongly till the tube becomes red hot. Cool it and add a few ml of distilled water. Boil it to one third of its volume. Filter it. Sodium fusion extract is ready now. Test for Nitrogen Using the sodium fusion extract, first let us test the presence of nitrogen in the organic compound. Organic compounds such as amines, amides, nitro compounds, urea etc. contain nitrogen as one of the main elements. To a little of the extract, add half its volume of freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution. Sodium cyanide formed during fusion reacts with the ferrous sulfate and forms sodium ferrocyanide. Heat the contents of the test tube, allow it to cool and add one or two drops of ferric chloride solution and little dilute HCl to acidify the contents of the test tube. The sodium ferrocyanide reacts with the ferric chloride to form ferric ferrocyanide. The appearance of Prussian blue or blue-green coloration or precipitate is due to the formation of ferric ferrocyanide 
and it indicates the presence of nitrogen in the organic compound. Test for halogens. Take a little of the sodium fusion extract, add a little dilute nitric acid and boil well. Cool it and add silver nitrate solution. If chlorine is present in the organic compound, the sodium chloride formed during fusion reaction forms a white precipitate of silver chloride on reaction with silver nitrate. Add little ammonium hydroxide to it, the precipitate disappears. Silver chloride is soluble in ammonium hydroxide. If the organic compound contains bromine, the NABR formed during fusion reaction reacts with silver nitrate to form a pale yellow precipitate of silver bromide. Silver bromide is sparingly soluble in ammonium hydroxide. On the other hand, if iodine is present in the organic compound, the sodium iodide formed during fusion reaction forms a yellow precipitate of silver iodide on reaction with silver nitrate. Silver iodide is insoluble in ammonium hydroxide. Test for sulfur. To a little of the sodium fusion extract, Add a little freshly prepared sodium nitroprusside solution. The appearance of violet color due to the formation of sodium thionitroprusside indicates the presence of sulfur. Hope all the concepts regarding Lassane's test for the detection of nitrogen, halogens and sulfur is now clear to you. All the best. Thank you.